All right, what's up guys? This video for you is gonna take a little bit of time because we're talking about some of the really heavy, solid stuff in this concept that's gonna just really push on what you know. Do what you can to be taking notes along the way. I hope you've gone back and had the chance to even like review and retry some of these concepts because this is the stuff that's gonna uh, make or break your ability to do well in the SBA. Everything else to this point, easy peasy. All right, we've got two scenarios. The first one that we've got is this online bookseller revenue situation. We're talking about the growths in business revenue after startup costs for an online bookseller and for an electronic store, electronics store. Um, in this first one, that I'm gonna talk about the online bookstore, their, their seller revenue. The things that we should be looking for are what we've always been trying to identify out of this entire workspace. What is the growth rate? If we can find the growth rate and then also talk about the zero value, we're able to write functions that we can then take to Desmos or we can graph or we can solve. And so in doing that, especially at like this level, you know, being an Algebra 1 concept, some things that we need to know about are just really what I said, write an equation, an exponential equation, given that we know two things. So the first thing that we know in the online book seller revenue is, well, maybe we should just kind of talk about the change. How much change is there happening over here? On this side, I see a growth of plus two. Then I see a growth of plus six. I mean, negative, right? When you're going from negative 46 to negative 40, that's actually getting closer to zero. Having negative numbers means you owe people a lot of money. So owing people less money is actually a sign of growth, of going in a positive direction. Uh, going from negative 40 to negative 22, that is, carry the one, negative, positive, positive growth, positive 18. I don't see a pattern in these numbers as they relate to what's going on over here. But I do know this, I notice that this pattern is changing by three. We're multiplying by three, multiplying by three, multiplying by three. So the amount of growth that's happening is some exponential amount of change. Uh, one thing that we probably could have done, I'm trying to see if I can get to um, some sort of an equation out of this. I will recognize this one. Uh, the time in months, in year zero, right, in the, in the month zero, we, the person owed $48,000. That's their startup cost. You got to have money to make money. So they got to have $48,000 that they had to borrow from the bank, from lenders, from benefactors, et cetera, et cetera. So it took them with this pattern of the change was multiples of three. In order to get out of debt, they weren't out of debt after three months. They were out of debt somewhere between the third month and the fourth month. So over here where it says, after how many months did it take the online bookseller to get out of debt? I'm, I'm going to put four because I don't know if I trust that decimal for these types of answers. And if I'm wrong, then I'm going to go back and put that decimal. Okay. So we'll put over here, we'll put, come on now, bring me up my calculator. Here we go. Get the little button down here. I'm going to put a four. See? Four. Cool. And enter to lock it in. We can slide this out of the way. All right, what is it? Does it like the four months? Does it not like the four months? I didn't push enter on it. Let's get enter down there. One reason why I could say it wouldn't be four months is because our, okay, they gave us the accuracy to two decimal places. So that must be this amount that they're talking about right here. Yeah, we can round it out. And sometimes we play that game like, you know, what is the point 54th day of uh, the month? And so we're going we're gonna to go with that point 54. So delete. Backspace, 3.54. By the way, this is just a giant tablet, this board I'm writing on. So you should be able to answer any of your mathia off of your phone. It just has, you know, size, you know, uh, spacing and issues. 354. Uh, moving on to the next one. By the way, I picked up a, a significant amount of growth in that third wheel over here. Uh, how many months did it take for the electronics store to get out of debt? What we're looking for are those things like to get out of debt, to be back to level and equal. Well, some things I want to know here is what is our growth rate? What is our initial value? In this situation, because it says crosses the y-axis at 0, comma, negative 44, that's just like over here. This is 0, negative 48. So between these two businesses, this one 
the online bookstore revenue, they have a deeper debt hole they have to be able to move out of versus the online, or I'm sorry, the electronics store. They only borrowed 44,000 in order to make their, their, their business grow. Notice that though they're not growing at the same rate. This business is doing better after 3.54 months. I don't know, what is that like? Three and a half months. Uh, they're actually finally paid off their debt and they're now ready to start making the money that their business promised them. This one over here, it takes them five and a half months. 5.49, I know that my tell on this problem is because of crossing the x-axis. So when the graph crosses the x-axis, we move from being in the negative region of the graph into the positive region. We're finally in the black, that means we're making some money, not in the red, which means we're in debt. And so therefore, after 5.49 months, we finally have no debt. The Y values, the second column or the second number, that is an indication of your debt or your profit, the amount of money that you have access to in these scenarios. So I need to type 5.49 into the space to see what we get. It should be the right answer, so here it goes. 5.49, enter. Uh, which business got out of debt sooner? Kind of already addressed it, right? The online bookseller. The online bookseller did because it didn't take them so long to get up to the x-axis or get up to zero. So select the one that works and let's see. Nice. Picked up significant growth in these problems and there's probably another video coming so let's go ahead and get ready to watch that one. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.